traffic, Skyline 80 Pumping Code, taxiing to 27. Great guys. Spring Valley, traffic, Skyline 80 Pump Echo, taking off 27. Spring Valley. Sailboats all on this little lake over here. Oh, really? Sailboats? Yeah, yeah sailboats. Li the little ones. Yeah. Uh, you'll be able to see them when we get on up here. When he goes to 32. Fifty, so that's not too bad. Well, thirty degrees is uh, about fifteen knot crosswind. Is that all the old planes right over there? Now that's it. It's good to see everybody again. It's been a while since we've seen Matt. Yeah. And Monica, and Matt and Monica are going with us sailing to Bora Bora and Tahiti. Later this year, yeah. And they're renewing their wedding vows here. Uh, is it next month? End of May. Uh, June 1st. June 1st. And Janice is shooting their their, their vow renewal. Over. The first wedding didn't work out, so they're and so they're trying it again. They're gonna try it again, see if they can get it right this time. Not really, not really. <laughs> so anyway, and uh, it was a it was a great turnout uh, for for Don's little uh, celebration of life uh, ceremony. There, it's uh, a lot of people I hadn't met before. A couple I have met. Uh, Tony Lewis was there. Tony is uh, running a nonprofit. It's uh, it's called uh, Harley's Limelight. Well, here if I can pull the whole thing in. Harley's Limelight of Hope. Uh, it, his daughter struggled, and uh, anyway, uh, uh, oh, he's he's really kind of gotten involved with young people uh, who are struggling with life and. You know whether or not they they matter or mean anything. It's the meaning of life or anything. But anyway, I'll put a link to the to the website. Yeah. Uh, if anybody, he, he gave me a handful of these hand uh, handbands or wristbands, I guess. Uh, so uh, if you happen to run into us, just holler at us. I'll keep them with us, and uh, we'll pass a few of these out. Uh, it's a it's a worthy cause, I guess, because we kind of kind of knew the family and it, it affected. And so, uh, anyway, uh, again, it's, uh, it was it was just good seeing everybody. So a lot of really good, decent people. Yeah, uh, and again, the the whole glue is aviation. Yeah, I mean, I, we wouldn't know any of them if it weren't for aviation. Right, right. Yeah. And honestly, we wouldn't have even known Matt if it wasn't for the the mishap in the cornfield with his Cessna 150. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, uh, that's how we kind of met, and uh, we were there when it happened, and we uh, kind of tried to help a little, and uh, and so anyway, he was appreciative of the help, and anyway, we just kind of developed a friendship from there. Yeah, definitely so. As uh, you know, going out, we're we're, we're kind of cut cut the party a little short, and we're trying to beat a pretty good fun. We're when I say try to be, we're still a couple of hours ahead yeah. of it. Yeah. But uh, you know how weather is, it can still change pretty drastic. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, we already got 
uh, 20 knot gusting 32 at 50, landing on 1.8. So yeah, that's 30 degrees. Basically, you take about half of that, and that's the crosswind component. So 32 knots, you're looking at 15, 15 knots of crosswind. So it's going to be a sporty little landing coming yeah, in. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, either the the degrees change a little bit or the wind dies down a little bit. But right now, that's kind of what it's been for a while. So uh, in 11 Kansas, you're going to have to learn to land in a crosswind. Exactly. analysis on the headsets right now. We've had uh, two, three, about four hours flying in them so far. And so far so good. I mean, the, the, the sound is fine. I don't really notice. Do you notice them being louder at all? or is Really? What I was trying to allude to in the previous video about the A20s or any earmuff style headset that if you got long hair or sunglasses or a baseball cap and it breaks the seal. I didn't mean it broke the seal so bad you, they were unusable. It meant that the delta between the noise canceling between those and these is a lot closer. Yeah, exactly. it, the difference isn't as much. Now, if you're real short haired or bald and you don't wear sunglasses and you don't wear a ball cap, I think you're gonna notice a bigger difference. Uh, because they are going to seal better. Oh yeah, definitely. But uh, when, when you have one, two, or three things, hair and sunglasses and ball cap or a beanie, I, I, I don't think the, the difference is going to be that noticeable. That's at 160, 20, and 30. Probably be a little better. There's a four years there, four. Here's the town of Emporia. Fourth of it. Right there. Right there. Okay. It's just a long way away. It's a little dip. You see the airport, you kind of look around, you don't see nothing. Then you see a little smattering of some houses, which it's quite a ways north. Yeah. thinking the closer we get we may see squall line that's coming but I, I don't see it um, maybe it way out there but it's just very faint hard to see through all the haze yeah. still in Colorado there is quite a bit of lightning and some thunderstorms out there we see all the lightning at yeah definitely line and all up there but that was always going to be the, the north of us it's right here yeah. that's uh that's the one that's going to hit us later today this is uh colonel james gibara airport automated weather observation two zero one or eight zulu wind water seven zero at two zero deep gust three three visibility one zero sky condition clear Temperature 3-0 Celsius, 2.17 Celsius, altimeter 2-9-7-9, remarks, density altitude 3,600. Wind's getting better anyway, the speeds are getting higher, they're getting closer to 1-8. Yeah, I noticed that. That's the lowest here. He's moving fast. It's moving fast. I saw him way back and he passed the sub.
A 35 below me. It's below you? It's uh, Interstate 35. Oh, oh, oh. Wichita, Colonel James Labara Airport. Automated weather observation, 2025 Padula. Wind, 160 at 21. Peak gusts, 33. Visibility, 10. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, 30 Celsius. 2.17 Celsius. Altimeter, 2978. Remarks, density altitude, 3,700. Back. This is my soul warrior. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, wait, I'm I'm hard now. I'm sleepy. I know, I am too. I don't think I've ever been this sleepy. Yeah. I am dying. We switched to green needles. There's the airport in front of us. <laughs> we get down to 3,000 feet now. Traffic to Echo, pump echo is 10 to the north on the ILS 1A, full stop, Jabbar. Uh, Colonel James Jabara Airport. Automated weather observation 2042 Zulu. Wind 150 at 25. Peak gusts 40. Visibility oh, be one. A crosswind now. Oh. Yep. I'll land with 20 flaps, uh, full flaps on this one, not with those kind of winds. Traffic 256634, five northeast, and we'll cross, northeast, crossing over the field, and right traffic 18. Jabbar traffic, still ain't 80, pop the echo is on a five mile final, 18, full stop Jabbar. Midfield, right traffic, 184. Hey, this is Skyline. We're on a four-mile final. You need us to break it off, or are you going to just extend your downwind? Uh, three, four. Uh, I can extend the downwind if I'm not going to be inside you. All right, just let me know. I'll be looking for you. I'm four miles out right now on the ILS-18. Downwind, and uh, we'll, we'll see where we're reaching. All right, sounds good. Three mile final runway one A. Uh, Jabbar traffic, still ain't Joe Pop Echo. We're on a three mile final one A, full stop, Jabbar. Okay, I got two sites. Get my down one behind you. All right, appreciate that, Joe Pop Echo. Traffic, one o'clock, two miles, 100 feet above. And we got you inside. We're almost abreast of each other.
Minimums. Minimums. Oh. The wind shear on short final. Traffic short final runway 1A. Jabar traffic is coming, 805 Echo 01A. Jabar. Jabar traffic 7634 at mile final 1A. Jabar. Uh, when you get in a little closer, it's wind shear, so watch out for that. Here he comes, let's watch him. <laughs> I fought that one. Yeah, that was pretty tough. Yeah, look at him. He just hit it, Ron. Did you see him? No, because you saw how bad we dropped. I mean, we just yeah, lost. Look at him. Yeah. He's fighting it, too. That's a much bigger plane. Well, and he's a low wing, too. Look at him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's dancing, isn't he? Look at that. Oh, man, he's fighting it. Back up again. Up there, he's floating. Down. Now he's down. Good job, we had to fight it all the way down, too. Yeah, it wasn't real pretty, but we're down. Yeah, that's what we said. We're, we were safely on the ground, didn't break anything. Crosswind correction taxi in here, don't we? Yeah. Watch out, my car's out. I know, I am, too. I don't think I've ever been this sleepy. Yeah. I am dying. I'm awake now. You're awake? <laughs> Yeah, that'll, uh, clear when I get you up on it. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I've landed in a 25-knot crosswind before, but the winds were relatively steady and not gusting, as today was a 15-knot gust factor. So it made the landing a little bit more trickier, but I was ready for a go around in the event that it wasn't working out. But as you saw, once we got it down or got it real close into the flare, we did have to kind of plant it a little bit. It was sporty to say the least. Well, about an hour and a half later, she hit and this is what it looked like so we timed that well gave ourselves plenty of buffer to make it home but as you saw the winds after we parked were getting pretty high <laughs>